The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about Chief Keith diss Tuka after saying three years ago that he, you know, he too big for that and that's old. Let's jump straight into it. Chief Keith was one of the dudes that I was given credit for being the first uh, one from the BD side to realize that this and Tuka was old, childish, and you know, you, you came too far in life and your career, you just too big for that now. Like, when you get to a certain point in your career and you get so much notoriety and fame, talking about somebody or bringing somebody else's name just give them more clout than it does for you. And I thought Chief Keef was taking the, the bigger route, you know? Because if you really go listen to any of Chief Keef's songs, he really stopped dissing people. Like, of course, if you go listen to his early music, like Finally Rich, uh, Bang, you know, 300, all of that, he was dissing every every bar. But over the years, he stopped dissing, you know, and he was one of the ones that I was giving credit. Like, you know, he got his own mind, like he ain't following Dirt and OTF and following that wave. He doing his own thing in Cali, you know what I'm saying? But he recently just did a song with Sexy Red. A person that look up to Chief Keef, she compare her career to Chief Keef. She says she the girl version of Chief Keef. They recently just did a song. The video should be coming out soon. But one of Chief Keef lyrics was, you know, we smoking too because, you know, we on Pop Zans, you know. And that was a clear diss. And it's like, that right there just backs everything. Yeah. I can't even say shorty name. Oh, that shit old. Hey, but I can tell it all. No. Came back up. Years and years and years. It's like... This is what I mean by it takes everybody to stop the violence. You get what I'm saying? Because all it takes is a person like Chief Keith to have a voice in the diss. And look, now it's back to where it was before. And it's like, now we didn't just wasted a whole year worth of pushing peace and trying. You get what I'm saying? So what I mean by if we really want to save these kids and really want to stop peace and really want to better the community and just the world and in general, the guys like Chief Keith, Lil Dirt, and like, People like No Jumper, anybody that has a big platform, you have to try your hardest to keep pushing that piece. I know Chief Keith probably was just off one, you know what I'm saying? And he just threw that in the song, you know what I'm saying? But stuff like that is what gives beefs and wars back started, you know what I'm saying? So once you get to that point that you get big, man, and you pushing peace, man, I know it might be hard because people around you may call you soft, they may call you weak, they may call you a sucker, but at the end of the day, if you're really trying to save these youth and save these kids, you wouldn't be worried about that. But it's your boy D's Media signing out, man, but that man Chief Keith, man, he done dissed Tuka again on his new song with Sexy Red after he done said three years ago on a, um, a GTA live stream with, uh, uh, what was it? YBN uh, Almighty J. He said, like, bro, I'm beyond that, bro. I ain't doing that dissing no more. But look what he just did. It's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network growth. Let's save these kids. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>